Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Legionaries Life Sub, episode number 15. Who would have thought we'd get this far? It just keeps going. <laughs> There's no end in sight. So uh, we're back in the training uh, routine area. Our character is going to have a very hard time gaining any more skill. Uh, so we may just have to focus on the things which we're weakest at. I think coordination is going to be uh, an emphasis for us. But it's going to also be... Ouch! Philip had to deal with an invasion by the Dardanians from the north. The attackers are retreating now, hard-pressed by a Macedonian army. After garrisoning the freshly conquered city of Pelion, Galba turns westward to your original starting point before winter comes. The rich loot of your raid in Upper Macedonia and Deseratia is shared among the troops. Wow, we've gained 624. <laughs> we don't even have anything to do with this money at this point. Part of it has been set aside and is going to be up for grabs in a series of games to be held. You can expect the cream of the crop of the army to compete. Each winner will receive 1,000 denarii. There are also 250 denarii for runners-up and 100 for third finishers. Oh my gosh. I can either join the three-lap foot race. We're not very quick. I can join the... Javelin contest on precision. Our javelin skill's horrible. Or we can do the javelin contest based on distance, which I'm gonna guess is strength based, and that's at strength of 70 we have like, you know, a chance of not making a fool of ourselves. So we'll do that. The most accomplished and strongest javelin throwers in the army are taking part in this contest. One of them is Tiberius Cuspius, a massive bull of a man who serves in the other legion. They say he killed an elephant from 20 paces in, in Subria. We're not going to win. <laughs> Your first throw has to exceed a minimum threshold. This is just to skim the worst candidates off before the real competition begins. We'll take our throw. <laughs> that was not good enough to qualify. <laughs> Head down, you leave the contest. Okay, fine. So we shouldn't have done that, but whatever. And the senior centurion praises you in front of the commander. Fantastic. Before I forget... Uh, I've been told that we should sell our gear. We have so much money. I'm just going to spend the time right now to search. Hey, don't s spin my the thread of my life. I'm in the middle of searching. Oh boy. The new consul, Publius Vilius Tapilus, excuse me, brings reinforcements from Italia and takes charge. Galba's term of office is over. Okay. Well, fine. Sounds, that sounds fine to me. It's not as good, nowhere near as good. Not nearly as good. <clears throat> the only thing that might be better here is the chainmail, but this one is identical. Okay, so basically it looks like it's a waste of time to look at these things anymore. Well, an attic helmet. It's slightly better for neck. One extra point, three extra points of awareness penalty, so I don't see any reason to get it. A three tier one. This one is three versus one, 15, 40, 75, 35. So this is actually one that might be considered, uh, I mean, might be worth it. I mean, we, we don't really have, <laughs> we really have a lot of better al alternatives. And I think we are wearing greaves now. I saw the penalty to our quickness, so. Look, at it, I honestly don't think that there's anything here worth buying. I, I'm looking, we're, we're swimming in money. I'm going to go ahead and sell off everything because I've been told, hinted at, that it, it is better to sell everything. So we'll just, oh my gosh. I actually want to see these. Oh my gosh. Okay. Awareness penalty of seven is enormous. <laughs> um, awareness penalty of five. What was this one? 14 and 40, 14 and 40, 80, 30. I mean, you are not likely to get hit when you're wearing this, but let's take a look at the other ones. This one's a awareness penalty of 6, 15. My God, they're all, like, terrible. The hell's going on here? I think I still like our Celtic helmet the best. Uh, no. Sorry. 13 damage protection. Yeah, okay, I, it definitely could be better. 
So am I just going to get rid of this? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's like very minor increase for two penalty of an awareness. And awareness is important for rolls. We have a better quality Phrygian bearded helmet, so let's just get rid of this one. Look at this one. This is awareness penalty of five, 50. Okay, so this is, honestly, this is the best option besides everything else. So if we're going to keep anything, let's keep that one. We definitely don't want to keep this. This is garbage. This is garbage. Ah, the Thracian cuirass. Well, it doesn't cover our torso completely, where our chainmail does. 16, I mean, we have something which is amazing. This is from the, uh, the bulwark. And yeah, so all that is effectively worse. We're actually going to make a ton of money on this. <laughs> and we have apparently a lot of sets of greaves. <laughs> 14, 40, quickness penalty of 2. So that one's better because the quickness penalty is decreased. We also have quickness penalty of three for 15. I don't know. I'll keep both because the quickness penalty might not. I mean, we, we don't want to intentionally increase our quickness penalty. So I, I look at I'm not sure what I want to do with the equipment that we have, but there's nothing worth buying there. So let's try swimming again. Ah, we failed again. About 2,000 veterans from the African campaign are mutinying. For one thing, they claim that they have never volunteered for this war, but were forced to embark by the tribunes of the former consul. For one another, they have served for long enough and have the right to go back to their families. I'm going to be sympathetic. I'm unsupportive but sympathetic, but I'll lean towards sympathetic. You can't turn your back on a brothers in arms who have shared the hardships of the African campaign. Uh, they have every right to make their demands after all. They have given, after all, they have given to the Republic. Situation resolved when the new consul, Tapios, agrees to write to the Senate about the veterans' request, providing mutiny is called off immediately. Very good. So we have a little bit of time left. We're not going to get anything. We might as well try. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, our sword skill went up. Another. <laughs> this, the thread spinning is going crazy. Three veteran legionaries are picking up, are picking on a young Umbrian recruit. They have taken his helmet and won't give it back. Umbrians are socii. While not full citizens, they sustained the Republican's darkest hour. Besides, this young man is here as a volunteer. Let's make the veterans stop. Okay. <laughs> There's a swift change of attitude as soon as they recognize your rank. They apologize and return the helmet. The Umbrian soldier thanks you. Okay, good. You are building quite a reputation as a trustworthy stand-up presence. Fantastic. I would like to be doing this. Let's um, let's go ahead and do a leisure thing. Let's play dice. Wait, what's our... I can't remember. What's our intelligence again? 52? Yeah, 52. So, we'll play dice, yeah. Uh, we didn't get any morale from that, unfortunately. We just wasted time. Let's try this one more time. Shield has improved a bit. Go back over here, and... Ugh! Thank you, finally. Hit the gym! Oh, very good. It's all coming in quickly here. <laughs> Jim! Oh. With the arrival of spring and news of Philip's presence in the nearby Epirus, Tapulus is eager to leave winter quarters and move towards the enemy. You are encamped after a long day's march when something completely unexpected happens. The new consul is here ready to take command and send Tapulus back to Rome. He must have left Italia much sooner than the customary and hurried by forces, by forced marches since then. He is very young for a consul, about your age, but Titus Quin Quintius Flaminius. Oh, this is the guy who will fight, I think. Flaminus. Flamininus. <laughs> Looks like a very driven man. A few days later, his reinforcements join you. Flamininus has brought over 3,000 men, many of them veterans who served in Hispania or Africa, which increases our morale. Fantastic. I'm going to do one more workout, probably. I don't know. It's really tough to say. Everything's just grinding so slowly at this point. But it would be better to get better coordination, better endurance, better strength. So those are the things that we should be focused on. The coordination endurance is just, yeah, it's very important. Now oh, we're putting chargers on there. Okay, that's fine. Let's see where we have to go. Two on the left. Um, I think we'll just skirt around the top. Yeah. So probably is going to be worth it. 
to run through one of these. And then I think we'll go through, yeah, two of them like this. Because it actually takes more time to walk all the way around than, anyway. This hamlet has, been, has seen better but days, taking their provisions, and you will doom the inhabitants for sure. Take what we need. Oh, spare the settlement. I guess we'll spare the settlement. Hmm, your men show respect for your decision. That's going to make things harder. Ah, God damn this stupid double movement thing. It's really annoying. Okay, so up here. Collect. Oh my gosh. Gonna collect it. I think actually I'm not supposed to collect because you get more events in the towns. You have not found many supplies here. You expect a lot more. This is certainly suspicious. We'll look harder. You were right to be suspicious. After a careful search, you find a well hidden stack of provisions. Okay. It looks like we will get the last town. Um, so that's all we could have hoped for anyway. And now we just head back and let's try to do it in a way which will maximize the forest usage, actually. I mean, we, we need to be prudent about this because I don't... I think if we just go all the way down. We can run into the forest at the very bottom here and then we'll know kind of how much time we have left as well. Yeah, I don't think we can actually do all this forest. Pretty close now, so I think we can probably. There we go. Pulse races as you hear an arrow thud into a nearby tree. You find cover before it's too late. You advance on the archers. When you get too close, they break off the attack and retreat. Still on edge, you resume your journey. All right, so that's probably all that we can do. You have completed your mission to everyone's satisfaction. We gain opinion and morale. Your mental attributes have not improved. Better luck next time. Okay, so it was all for nothing. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Our morale is quite low, so I think we will do offer sacrifice now. Gained a 20 morale, which should put us, yeah, pretty high. And have a little bit of time left, so I think we do sparring. Shield has increased. And looks like we have time for one more thing. Strength and constitution. No. Okay, we do have one more time, so I'm going to go with this. <laughs> Sword, hey, that's perfect. And time's up. You overhear two tribunes discussing the present situation. The youngest of the pair insists that it would be better to take the long route through Desiratia, bypass the enemy entirely, and invade Macedonia from there. His colleague replies that such a move would leave Philip's army between you and your bases at, on the coast, not the brightest maneuver he has ever seen. It would also solve nothing. If you want to obtain a decisive advantage, you have to face the Macedonians now. The consul, Flamininus, ha must have thought the same because you are marched to the river Eos where the enemy is waiting for you. You may camp and prepare for the inevitable. So many, so many years of campaigning under your belt and you are still not completely used to this. Regardless, you don't let any of your nervousness show on the outside. Okay, so morale is actually not much, not as high as I would like it to be, but that just leaves room for uh, the events we do to, you know, bring us higher morale. <laughs> That's the way I'm going to view it. So we're using, okay, we cannot change our equipment, but I think we still are, I mean, we're using the best, I think, basically. Unfortunately, not, that's one thing I honestly could have done. The next, if we have one more chance, if we go to another camp, I'll probably just spend the entire time improving the javelin. Because <laughs> you just, you get such minuscule gains out of, well, I mean, our sword's almost 80. Good lord. Um, but the the attributes did not improve as much as I was hoping. The enemy's position is very solid and difficult to attack. It is no surprise when the consul accepts a summit with Philip to discuss peace terms. He needs time to figure out how to crack this nut. It is even less surprising when the meeting comes to nothing. The next day, several skirmishes erupt between patrols on the plain separating your camp from the Macedonians. The fighting is spreading quickly, and your unit is sent out to help reduce the pressure. Philip has sent reinforcements too. The first thing you notice are the 20 feet tall pikes held high by the rear ranks. 
the phalanx. The phalanx is approaching. You have seen many things in the last 12 years. None of them were as scary as five layers of spears pointed points, spear points, advancing towards you like an impregnable death dealing wall. So supposedly the phalanx was not so threatening to the um, it was not so threatening to the um, Romans for some reason. When the other side is at the right distance, you prepare, prepare to hurry your javelin. This is javelin toss. Let's, uh, let's, we're 50%. Let's just, let's pick off at a specific target. Sure. And we hit him. Your target skillfully deflects the missile, but at least you've caused some minor disruption to the enemy formation. So we get a morale increase from that. As the other side gets closer, you steal yourself for the incoming fight. Here we go. So the phalanx. I, they have some bonus, which I... Come, oh, weapon reach of 6. That's probably the problem here. This Kai's constitution is like 100. What? Wow. Now, his skill is very low, but honestly, I don't know what it means that... So let's take a look. Attacks against this opponent will have a lower chance of success because of the inferior weapon reach. So I think that we're going to need to get close. And we can't do that without landing a hit, probably. All right, let's throw another javelin. In fact, considering my defense is so high, I think I'm going to do javelin like this. Missed. You think about your options. An outrageously skilled fighter might attempt to cut his way through the spear wall and engage the enemy at close quarters. Mere mortals had better focus on survival, holding the line, and trying not to get their morale crushed by this dreadful opponent. Interesting. One thing is for sure, when the spear wall pushes as one, it won't be easy to defend against. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Um, okay, let's look at this. Shield push. Success stance reduced by 16 and 20. Attacker stance reduced by 6 to 12. We fail. Fatigue of 4, which is a lot. Chance of success in this primary attack. Check, okay. That's H. Uh, C, chance to overcome opponent's resistance, which is strength based. So they have a pretty, apparently they have a pretty good chance to counter me because their strength is insane. Um, otherwise we can slash, which is gonna do health damage times 0.4. Um, or we can chop, which is gonna do health times one. Failure, stance reduced by 15 to 35. This one's also 15 to 35. They're both fatigue of three. Decoy? This is essentially faint, if I'm not mistaken. And this just reduces their, and we have much better chance of succeeding. What was this one? This has just reduced their stance by 16 to 20, or 5 to 10. Okay. So, uh, you forgive me for a moment while I'm just trying to figure out all the different options here. I'm trying to see what is it that we're doing? What is it that, what's our goal? Um, how, what's the best way for us to do this? I feel pretty confident in our defense. I have no idea what kind of bonus that they're going to get, but 50% for weapon and defense means that I feel like pretty good about doing something. How long is it going to take us at 0.4 to slash our way in? The spear wall will resist up to eight damage with 24 anti-armor resistance. Wow. Eight damage, and our weapon does 17 times 0.4. We essentially cannot do damage to them. What? So I think we are just gonna respite and defend. Let's respite. Buy ourselves times, essentially. Okay, 
So now we have the opportunity to recover. But they are going to fatigue themselves. I think we're going to play the fatigue game. So let's respite again. Okay, and uh, just respite. Okay, they appear to be very good at landing this. <laughs> Okay, I think that they're slowly going to build up fatigue, though. I really wish I knew if any of these... No, so that's eight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, our slash is actually... Oh, chop is the one I would have to use. Okay, so I think we're just going to continue to respite and then recover. Yeah, we'll play this. I think we're going to play this game forever until their fatigue sets in. It's fine. It's kind of a weird game. <laughs> so the good news is we're not going to lose any morale doing this. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how we would even do any damage, but let's recover. Let's actually go for a swing here. Let's see if it do does any damage. Okay, we missed. Oh, they, they will attack. Okay, it turns out that they will attack. It's good to know. There's a lull in the fighting. You might take this chance to fall back and recover as a Centurion. You are expected to lead your soldiers in battle for as long as possible. Do you want to fall back? No. I think we're all good here. Okay, close on in. All right, so we're back to the back to the grind. I think I feel like this is like just kind of simple, and we don't need to worry about our fatigue getting up. So we're spiting for us is not a big deal. We might as well do like shield push, which does or does not yeah failure does reduce attacker stance decoy does not okay so decoy is very expensive in terms of fatigue though let's go ahead and try to chop okay they missed let's try a slash hey we did minus one hooray we'll go back down and we'll, we'll recover and they're on the, so I, I mean, I think that we should go for it. Um, let's slash again. Nah. Well, it's probably a, not a bad time to respite. Aha! Slash. Damn it. Okay, they recovered. I think we'll recover. Just take this opportunity to recover. Um, they succeeded, but we're just going to go ahead and recover. I'm not too worried. We can respite at any point. We'll just respite here. Okay, we'll recover as well. And we got apparently three attempts here, so let's go ahead and... Chop, we're going to miss a whole lot, but yeah... Oh, we got minus three there. We're actually doing it. We're doing it. Seems like the best way of working on this is just letting them fatigue themselves. So, actually got zero hits there, but... It's, okay, let's try a chop. We're going to miss it a lot, I think, but... We'll just recover, and then we'll do some uh, respites. And because we're going to stay in the front, we should be doing respites pretty often. So this doesn't mean anything, basically. We need to... These guys are just having a hard time. And they've already been lowered, though. Do a recovery. Respite. I should have done a recovery. That's what I meant to do. There it is. Okay, there it is. Do we want to fall back? No! 
We'll just keep fighting forever. And it does give us a small amount of a small break. I'm gonna do this just because it doesn't affect morale, just in case they attack first. So they are fatigued, and we can just really keep going at it here. Um I, let's try this decoy. I don't think it's worth doing. Just wanted to try it out, see what would happen. So let's do respite. And then go to... <laughs> this is just the worst case scenario for that. <laughs> okay, now recover. And res Whoops! Okay, I didn't even mean to do that. I thought that was going to be the respite button, but... The recover button was gone, so the buttons were out of order. We're trying to respite them, it's not going to work for them. Yeah, so just one of those is going to cause them to have some problems. We'll just keep working this, though. It's pretty simple. We know what we want to do. Um, okay, we'll recover after they land two successful attempts. And if we get a miss like that, then... And even like this, we'll go for a slash. Yeah, we're working it. Minus three at a time here. <laughs> what did they land? Was it a respite? Let's go for another slash. All right, minus six. That's our best one yet. We resisted that. Let's go for another slash. Oh, yeah. They're making it easy on me. Let's do some respiting. I'm going to keep respiting. Maybe they'll give me a free... Um, recovery at some point. Like that. Perfect. And uh, we'll stay in the front. Luckily for you, some enemy units on the flanks are giving way. The phalanx is forced to retreat to avoid being exposed. It takes a while to regroup your lines after the onslaught. As such, you are ready, or as soon as you are ready, you start giving chase. Oh, huh, that's fantastic. I mean, that did not seem like a very difficult fight. Just interesting that it was something new. Your pursuit takes you closer and closer to the enemy camp. The ground is getting unfavorable. Such a slope is going to make it very difficult for you to fight. In an instant, the noise and the cries of your companions alert you to a more horrifying danger. The Macedonians have put up siege weapons to reinforce their position. They are shooting at you with their ballistae. Uh, ballistae. Or ballistae. Something smashes your shield and knocks you off your feet. In the shock of the moment, your first clear thought is that your arm is still attached. It must have been a glancing blow, or you would have been dead already. The enemies are approaching from above. You feel very vulnerable without a shield. I think that we should do this. Borrow a shield of another soldier and send him to the rear line. So let's do this first one. He complies without arguing and hurries to the, through the ranks to a safe position. Macedonian footmen are upon you. All right, this will be fun. So it looks like we're gonna fight at a small disadvantage. Um, we are fighting Theriophoros. Theriophoros. Which apparently is uh, based on their shield. Okay, so his body is gonna be his weak point. He will have a weapon reach advantage. Close in. What is your... Yeah, I'm very mediocre stats. We're gonna... We are going to destroy this guy. <laughs> I mean, we have our, our pick of the try. Uh, armor is so weak, we probably can go for it. Okay, let's just go for it. Ah, how do we miss? Do another attack since he's going to do another recovery, I imagine. Oh my gosh! Well, we're down to absolutely nothing as far. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know why it didn't give us a free recovery chance when he just recovered, but that's fine. Ah, <sighs> boy. What the f Okay. It was almost impossible for us not to recover. Oh, my, minus one morale. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll stick with recovering. 
Ah, I want that last little bit first. Okay, so he recovered. I don't know what. I Everything I knew about this game is just... <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh, we're not going to have much time, I see. Well, we're going to stay in the front anyways, though. So might as well respite. I forgot we're at minus 10 by default. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack. Let's attack his leg this time. There we go. Get his fatigue up. Um, we'll attack his torso. Minus 14. Fantastic. Go again. Minus another 10. And the enemy starts pulling back. So we did at least half damage him. Because he was seriously wounded. It gives us some kind of tick. Plus 2 morale, which is nice. As soon as you gain a little ground, the difficult terrain and the enemy's defenses unravel your progress. When sunset comes, the skirmish dies out. Okay, not bad. So we survived. We did take... Oh, only four hit points of damage, not too bad. The last skirmish proved that you can't defeat Philip with a frontal attack, not as long as he is holding his advantageous position. We even regained our hit points. One night, your maniple and many others are silently gathered in the intervallum between the ramparts and the tents. It is a little army, perhaps as big as a legion. A tribune is in charge. There is a bound man next to him. You march under the moonlight, moving away from the enemy at least initially. Eventually you take a path through the mountains. Before dawn you encamp to eat and rest, only to resume your journey at night. They say the bound man is a local shepherd who promised to lead you behind the Macedonian camp. He is bound to make sure he stays true to his word, but has promised a rich, but has been promised a rich payment for his help. On the third night you are told to be doubly vigilant. You must be very close to your destination. One of the other legionaries immediately gives alarm and points to the rise off the path. He is right. You see helmets glinting in the moonlight as two figures try to make their escape. Enemy lookouts. We'll take part in the chase. Why not? <laughs> Even with the help of the moonlight, the hunt is very demanding. You start to fall behind and trip over something. Thankfully, other legionaries manage to catch up with the lookouts and deal with them before your mission is compromised. Okay, well, fine. You arrive at your destination before dawn. You are told the enemy is below and the other... Uh, is below the other side of the height you are holding right now. You can take some time to rest, but soon in the morning the Tribune signals your position. But soon in the morning, the Tribune signals your position to the console with a column of smoke. Hmm. After this, you are told to wait and be at the ready. So that's just stuff which is happening. I'm trying to, you never know how to read these things, <laughs> or I don't know how to read them properly. Oh my god, I think my mic is like way over amped. What the hell is going on with this? Why does this keep happening? I don't know what the source of this is, by the way. I apologize. I feel like this whole... It's going to be... Um, means this whole recording will be... Oh my god. Okay, well, I really apologize for that. I don't know what it is that was causing that, but I took it down. It was like 50% higher than it should have been, which is crazy. When you appear from above the enemy camp, you can feel their panic even from this far. Some of the, them attempt to oppose your advance, but they are routed with ease. The rest of the Macedonian army is fighting against the troops that remained with Flamininus. The mere sight of you approaching from behind is too much for them. They give up the battle and flee. Oh, that's right. The main battle is happening then. Were it not for the rugged ground that hampered your cavalry, Philip would have lost most of his army today. As it is, many of the Macedonians managed to escape, including their king. You could have won the war on this very day. On a positive note, they have left behind some of their possessions in their hasty flight, so that doesn't mean anything to us. And I think that probably, sorry, I'm, first of all, I apologize. So the problem with the recording, if you ever end up doing any recordings yourself, is that a lot of games with voice chat options, they will reset your system settings, which is, I mean, obviously, it's, something is not supposed to happen like that, right? If a game controlled your Windows system volume, you would be very upset. But for some reason, games constantly mess with your system recording volume, <laughs> which it shouldn't do. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, let's call this video to a close here, and um, we'll continue this in another episode, episode 16, still to come. For now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.